Hey everybody, before I tell you uh, what I'm going to do in this project and in this video, I want to tell you how important it is to have um, safety in a mosque. Have a look at this one. And here again. And the bark just flew straight into my face, but with the mask that I've got, I am okay. Uh, did I have to take the bark before out? Yes, I did. My mistake. Aaron here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do um, a box uh, with a lid, but the lid will be floating above the box I'm using resin. You'll see the process. It's a fun, fun project. Um, I use the resin for art and I'm quite a lot playing with this new toy of mine, this uh, black line uh, parting tool in a lot of new job for him. I don't think he knew that he has so many jobs. Uh, let's go. On both sides of the wood I put tenant and you will see now why a little bit later. And of course don't forget to subscribe, to like my channel, and to comment. Uh, the pipe that you just saw was the size of the pipe that I'm going to use to put resin in. Measuring the, the design that I've got in my head, uh, in my mind, and um, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut some grooves with, um, with the parting tool and then I'm going to use um, easy tools to just to cut out the grooves totally. I'm using a small uh, square carbine tool, carbine tip, to cut to cut out uh, the wide and the quite deep groove. And you'll see now I'm, I'm putting a step. You'll see the step now, and just now you'll see what I'm doing. I'm taking the 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 wood out of center. Actually, gives a, I'm giving it off center point, and now what will happen is that the wood will be off center and when I cut the groove it will give it an angle look like and um, it will be like the leads got an angle is not sitting 100% straight and then I'll move to the other side and I will create on the other side um, I will make look like and how you call it um, a trade but it's not going to be tr fully trade but because of the angle it will look because it sits in an angle it will look from the side like it's a trade a trade that the wood and you will see it now um, unfortunately the wood is a little bit soft on the corners and I, I had few small places that it broke off but it's all right, it doesn't look so bad. Cleaning up a little bit, and now you can see this one. Because of the angle, it looks like a thread, like a threaded wood for a lid. You can see it now. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to use this pipe as my vessel, so I can put some wood in. Uh, sorry, I'll put some resin in. It's clear resin um, and um, I'll push it afterward into the pressure pot. In this project I will move for a few techniques all the time and I'll move it from one side to the other side all the way to the end of the video. I'm, I'm all the time putting something new because you have to plan in advance what you're going to do otherwise you're going to get stuck halfway down the project. If you saw those bubbles, those ones on top, I don't know what it is. It looks to me very much 
like I had a little bit of moist in the wood. Even that it's a very old piece of wood, I think I had a little bit of moist of wood, and it got stuck to the pipe. Usually it doesn't happen, I had to cut it off. And here almost broke the tenant, so I put it on the table. Now I'll machine the wood all the way to the to the wood. I'll take off all the resin from the sides because it wasn't the resin didn't sit 100% center, but but the tenant and the um, and the center point are center. So if I'll run it all the way and I'll square it with the wood, then I'll have a complete cylinder like it used to be before and fully 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 balanced. I did just that and I found out that I've got uh, two places that I had a huge air bubbles and I'll have to fill them up. I used the trick that came from Moon Pie um, production done about two weeks ago. Um, he put a tip over there how to, how to fill up cracks and I'm going to use this trick. Thank you very much Ken for your trick, it worked very well. The trick worked, but I had a small leak and it's my mistake, not the trick's mistake. So I put the tape and it's not so bad. Another bubble, but this one is a small one. The only problem with those bubbles is that it holds back the project and I can't finish it. So just put a little bit of resin and use another cup to put above it so it will protect the resin from dust in my workshop. It looks okay to me. Uh, it's time to continue with the project. Don't forget, if you've got any comments or questions, don't forget to um, ask me. That's, by the way, it's wood sealer, um, celluloid sealer, just to sit in the wood before I start uh, um, sending it from 120 all the way to 600. The resin I'm polishing now, I'm actually flattening down now with pads. Um, with a normal pad, a fine pad, an extra fine pad, a micro pad, and all of them with water. Uh, and I'm trying to use it only on the size, on the place where I have the resin. And then of course, you know me, I'll move to Nova's uh, 3 to 1 or only the 3 and 2 heavy scratches and light scratches. I'll work it also and I'll bring it up to a full polish on this side because I want to finish um, one side totally before I continue with the project because you see if I don't do it now it will be difficult later to do it so that's the plan to go ahead you already can see the threads um, very clear now when it will stop you'll see them I'm going to finish the wood with Yorkshire grid and I'm going to finish afterward with OB juice. So that's why I covered the, the resin. I didn't want the resin to get damaged by the Yorkshire grid. Even though the Yorkshire grid all goes all the way to a thousand, the way that I polished it was much more than it was two and a half thousand more or less. I'm connecting the other tenant also with uh, with another chuck, with on a revolving chuck, and I'm going to mark it. And of course, with my new toy, I'm going to part it. Have a look at it, how easy it's parting it into the center.
Beautiful, isn't it? I'm using a 60 millimeter drill and I drill it all the way to the bottom. I give it enough space to have a heavy bottom and um, then I'm going to use a square. I, I, I tried a few tools but in the end of the day I managed I finished with a square carbine tool. You will see the end where is the end of the of the resin. I created over there a step and that's been done on purpose and you will see later uh, on my next uh, one of my next part on this video why I did that. The same routine all the way um, the same routine of uh, sending polishing water water sending and then polishing. You can see how clear it's starting to be, really, really, like almost crystal clear. Even that it's quite thick, the resin is quite thick because I didn't want to take a chance, uh, but it's crystal clear. I created two future lines uh, for decoration and I'll do it on the other side, the same decoration, and you will see that I've done it on purpose this, this way. That will be the recess for the lid. The wobbling is not from the wood, the wobbling is from something from the video, I don't know why. That's a small recess that I'm doing in the lid, so I can reverse it later and take off the tenant. You remember the two decoration light that I made? Now here, where the, where the lid and the, and the jars join, I'm going to make it as a feature, as a line, so nobody will see it. They join over there. It's, it hides the join. I really hope so. But just a safety tape, so when I turn it around into in a chuck, I'm not going to scratch it. I'm not going to scratch the chuck, and I'm doing the base of the, of the jar. Now I'm going to drill the 25 millimeter um, drill that for, for my uh, logo that are going to be inside and um, I think I just left too much outside and I'll cut it off. I use the recess that I made to turn around the lid and now I'm creating the shape of the lid that I want. Of course I'll do exactly the same thing, I'll sandpaper it uh, Yorkshire grid and after Yorkshire grid the uh, OB juice and that's how it sits. From an old project of mine I've got a leftover of black African wood. It's hard hard wood, really hard wood and this parting tool takes it off like nothing. Uh, we cut it, polish it, machine it, sandpaper it, OB juice, everything the same way. Now I'm going to glue the lid, I'm going to glue the cap to the lid and of course I glue also my two fingers together with the super glue. Now, 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 now wait for the final product, it's worth it, wait for it, wait for it, here it is. And that's uh, how I made my floating lid uh, jar, um, hope that you enjoyed it, if you did subscribe to my channel and like my channel. And don't forget to put any comment that you've got at the bottom. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next week in my next video. Cheers!